Hey everyone, in this video I'll explain to you the best undergraduate data science programs for 2021. But before we get into all of that, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm to help push this video to others who are interested in tech and data science. So thank you for doing that, and with that said, let's get into the video. Now I'll quickly go over the criteria of how I uh, made this list. So I came across four different uh, reputable sources where they've ranked uh, the highest and best data science programs. So I used US News, Forbes, data science degree programs, and College Choice. Now I've linked all of their resources and methodologies in the description down below. So feel free to check them out as they go into a bit more detail. But essentially what I did is I aggregated those rankings from those different sources and I made my list uh, just based on how many times the school is listed in a source. Now with that said, I'll get into the first one or the highest ranked one in this case, which is UC Berkeley. Now some quick facts about their program. Uh, so for tuition and fees, it's about uh, almost $44,000 for out-of-state students and about $14,000 for in-state students. And interesting note is that their Data Science Institute was founded in 2013. So this gives them a bit more tenure in terms of their data science program, meaning it's more established and uh, more fleshed out and they've worked out the kinks there. In terms of their actual degree programs, they do offer a uh, BA in data science. Now, if we go to um, the US News article that I pulled up, you'll see here that uh, UC Berkeley was ranked number one for data analytics slash science. And interestingly, number two, uh, tied for number two in computer science. Um, in addition, for the enrollment, it's uh, about almost two, 32,000 students with a reputation score of 4.9. Uh, in addition, for the data science degree programs list I was looking at, it was ranked number seven. And for the collegechoice.net ranking, it was ranked number four. And as I mentioned, their methodology is uh, linked down below. Now, if we take a look at their uh, data science major webpage on the UC Berkeley website, we'll see here it's um, under their own uh, undergraduate studies under the computing data science and society um, part and it's a BA and they go over the lower div upper div and the domain emphasis uh, with their core data courses here now speaking of UCs in general uh, I'd also recommend looking into UC San Diego as another great um, alternative for a data science uh, bachelor's program uh, I did uh, attend UCSD as part of my BS data science program uh, and they created their own data science institute, the Holisiolu Data Science Institute. So they've listed their major requirements here as well and all of their data science courses. Now, if you're interested in learning more about the details and how the data science program at UCSD works, I made a video uh, covering my entire uh, data science degree journey. So all of the classes I took um, what they entailed, etc. So if you're interested, feel free to check that out on my YouTube channel and I'll have that link to that video down below in the description as well. Now, if we go back here, second uh, university that's on the list is University of Michigan. Now, in terms of their tuition and fees, uh, they have about $52,000 for out-of-state students and about almost $16,000 for in-state. In terms of their degree programs, they have two offerings, one in the College of Engineering and one in the College of LSA. And LSA stands for Literature, Science, and the Arts. Now, if we go back to their website here, we see here for the College of Engineering, uh, they do have it listed here, as well as a breakdown of their degree requirements. Same thing with uh, for the College of LSA. They do offer some insights here. Interestingly, you can find more details at the Department of Statistics website. So it looks like LSA is more about the st statistics route and the engineering maybe more of the CS route, just uh, FYI. Now the next university I have is Carnegie Mellon. Uh, in terms of their tuition and fees, it's roughly 59000 And they do have two uh, degree programs uh, related to data science. One is 
in statistics and machine learning, and the other is in AI. So uh, interestingly, they don't have a specific data science degree, but they do offer tangential bachelor's programs. Now, if we take a look at um, CMU's undergrad catalog, um, one of their offerings is in the Department of Statistics and Data Science. So what we'll find here is a bunch of um, Bachelor of Science degrees in statistics with different tracks. One of them is in uh, machine learning, so that may be more of the data science route there with a focus on statistics, of course. And their other offering is in the um, AI program. So this will be a BS in AI uh, degree. Now the next university is, well, first subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified when my videos get uploaded. So thank you for doing that. And with that said, let's get to the actual next university, which is Columbia University. Now in terms of their tuition and fees, it's uh, also roughly 59,000 and they do have a dedicated data science uh, program. Now their program is under their School of General Studies and this lists uh, their computer science and information science major as well. And interestingly they have their own data science institute as well. Um, if we come down here they list that they were founded in 2012 so again they have a longer tenure so a more established program here and um, a lot of industry affiliates 98% job or internship placement three months after graduation so a lot of um, great news there so yeah definitely check this out if you're interested in uh, Columbia now the next university is MIT for their tuition and fees it's roughly $54,000 and for their degree programs, they have a BS in computer science, economics, and data science. Now, this uh, degree program is actually all three majors or all three of those uh, topics uh, wrapped up into one uh, degree program. It's taught under the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science or EECS as it's uh, referred to. And if you take a look at the coursework here, it lists their general uh, requirements or GEs as well as a breakdown of their uh, different departments so you're going to learn um, some CS so programming uh, economics so microeconomics and how it ties into data science uh, some probability and stats and uh, electives as well and if you're interested they also have a master's program for uh, data ec economics and development policy now the next one is Stanford for tuition and fees it's about $56,000 and they have a uh, quite a number of offerings here uh, so they have a computer science degree with an AI specialization they have earth data science biomedical data science and political science with a data science track now if we come here now, interestingly, they also have their own uh, dedicated data science institute. Uh, this is their homepage of their website. So feel free to check that out. Now, on their education part of that page, they have a list of their educational offerings, uh, some of which I already um, discussed, and they uh, have more as well. Now, coming here, this is actually uh, part of their mass one of their master's programs, but I just thought I'd highlight it here in case you're interested. Uh, they do have an AI track under their uh, CS program. So you'll learn AI principles, uh, NLP, and machine learning. Now in terms of uh, bachelor's programs, they do have Earth Data Science. So you're going to be working with geospatial data. So uh, for me, I'm familiar with Esri and um, GeoPandas, uh, things like that, for working with geospatial data and Folium as well. So uh, you're going to learn, yeah, GIS, data management, data viz tools, and spatial analysis. So really interesting stuff there. And if you're interested in um, the medical field, they do have biomedical data science. Uh, so a lot of great applications there as well. This is their uh, under poli-sci for their data science track. So 
they have a lot of uh, very specific data science applications in different fields, which again is great if you're interested in specializing in a particular field. And I just, I just thought I'd highlight this, but they also have a data science minor as well as a statistics and data science uh, master's program. Now, before I get to the last university, really appreciate it. If you made it this far, if you could hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, really appreciate it. It's completely free to do so, and it helps get this video uh, pushed out a lot more. So thank you for doing that. With that said, let's get into the last university, which is BYU. Now for BYU, um, it's uh, on the more affordable side, around 26276 at the time of this recording. And they do have two... Um, data science degree offerings, one in the computer science department and one under statistics. And if we come to their uh, catalog, uh, as I mentioned, this is their computer science uh, degree with a data science focus. So this will be more on the CS slash programming side uh, slash software engineering side, if you're interested in that, as well as their statistics um, degree program so looking more on the stats side, uh, looking like more uh, familiar with R programming, which is a data science uh, stats language. So things like that. So a lot of great options here. And yeah, really any of them uh, would be a great option for you. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully this gave a great guide into uh, getting the ball rolling into terms of looking at uh, what school uh, may be the best fit for you for your data science degree journey. So yeah, with that said, thank you so much for watching. Before you leave, if you're interested in investing once you get your first internship or job, uh, I'll have my Webull link down below in the description. And if you sign up using my link below, when you deposit $100, you'll get two free stocks uh, valued up to $1,850 when you use my link. And if you're interested in investing in Bitcoin and other crypto, be sure to use my BlockFi link down below in the description. And depending on how much money you invest into your account initially, you can get up to $250 in free crypto. So definitely take advantage of that. Now, with that said, thank you so much for watching. As always, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on bell notifications so you can get notified when my new videos get uploaded. Also, be sure to comment down below anything else you want to see and learn about data science or tech in general, and share this video with anyone interested in learning about data science, and follow me on my socials to get even more data science content. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. Take care.